Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we will be discussing about resistance, voltage, and current. So, sa previous topic ko sa physics, I discussed with you about the capacitors in a circuit. Ngayon, resistor naman tayo in a circuit. So, let's have the definition first and the quantity, the measurement, the units of this three components. The resistance, the voltage, and the current. So, sa voltage, meron tayong uh, ginagamit na uh, notation, which is V, or the unit would be the volt. And the, the function of the voltage is the electromotive force or pressure that creates current flow in a, cir a circuit. So, dito, para din siya yung sa capacitor. Same lang din ang function. Ang voltage kasi natin, siya yung uh, electric pressure, siya yung tumutulak doon sa mga uh, electrons na mag-flow doon sa circuit. Now, yung current naman natin, current is the flow of electrons through a circuit. Ano naman kung paano naman gumagalaw yung mga electrons natin doon sa circuit natin. While the resistance, o with the unit of ohm, ito yung omega, then itong R, yan yung notation natin para sa resistance, is, it is the opposition to current flow by electric components in the circuit. At naman yung pumipigil. Kaya nga, resistance from the word resist. So, ito, meron akong representation para mas maintindihan ninyo. Um, ang role ng voltage ng resistor tsaka ng current. So, sa voltage, ito yung ano natin, parang meron tayong water tank, then may water, then meron tayong pipe dito sa ilalim. Yung voltage, siya yung tumutulak nun sa water para pumasok siya dun dun sa pipe. So, voltage can be represented by the pressure in a water tank forcing water through the pipe. While the current, ito naman yung water. Kumbaga sa circuit, ito yung mga electrons. The water flowing through the pipe represents the electric, electrical current and the more pressure there is, the more current you get. Okay? The resistor, it is the small diameter of the pipe, restricts water flow similar to the way a resistor re re restricts the current of a circuit. So, yung resistor, siya yung pumipigil dun sa current. Okay? Siya yung pumipigil dun sa pagdaloy. Next, we have formulas for the series and parallel circuit ng resistance. So, dito, meron tayong formula na ginagamit, which is for series, ha? For series muna tayo. Yung I is the current. So, yung current natin. So, sa series, ang current natin ay equal lang. So, whatever the value of the first resistor would, would also be the same with the value of the second resistor and the third resistor and etc. Okay? Hindi lang yan hanggang tatlo. Pwede rin yan mag-apat. Okay? So, also, meron tayong formula para naman sa voltage. Dito, we just simply add the, the values of all the volts or the voltage. Okay? Kung ang unang resistor merong 3, meron tayong, alimbawa, meron tayong value para sa second voltage natin o 1, then dito, 1 din sa third voltage natin. So, i-add lang natin 3 plus 1 plus 1. That would be equal to uh, 5. Okay? To get the total voltage. Next, ito naman yung resist resistance natin. We just simply add the same way the voltage. So, R, R1 plus R2 plus R3. Then, parallel, Dito naman, you just simply add the current para makuha yung total, total current natin. Then, sa voltage naman, ang equal. Okay? Dito, ang equal ay yung current. Pero, pero dito sa parallel, ang equal yung voltage. And to get the resistance, total resistance, we just simply uh, get the reciprocal of every resistance. And then, we add all of them. Then, ito, meron tayong ginagamit na Ohm's Law. V, ito yan, V is equal to I R. Okay, yan talaga yung pinaka-main formula. Pero nilagay ko na lang dito sa pyramid natin para alam nyo kung paano ginagamit ang pyramid na to. Kapag ang nawawala ay yung V, you just multiply I and R. Kapag nawawala yung I, you just divide V and R. And kapag R naman, you just divide V and I. Okay? Then meron na ako dito ang paalala. The more resistors you have, the less the equivalent resistance is. Sa parallel ha. Okay? And the current increases, voltage never changes. So, dito, 
Sabi, sa parallel daw, kapag mas marami resistor, less yung equivalent ng resistance. Okay, mas mababa yung resistance. Sa series naman, the more resistors you have, the more equivalence or equivalent resistance you have. Okay? Yung current never changes, the voltage across each resistor adds up to the total voltage of the source, which is the battery. Okay? To understand it more, let's have our first example. So, tanggalin mo natin itong second example natin. Okay? For our first example, we have this one. Ang una natin gagawin is to identify whether the given example is a series circuit or parallel circuit. So, kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong tatlong um, resistors. Okay? Resistors, hindi tayo kapasitors. So, meron tayong R1, R2, and R3. So, the unit of the resistance is ohm. Itong omega. So, 3 ohm, 10 ohms, 5 ohms. Then this one, 9V, is what, uh, this is our value for our voltage. Okay? So, ganun din, gaya na ginagawa sa resistor, gagawa tayo ng table. So, sa table natin, ang kailangan lang naman natin ay ito. So, una, our total, total resistor, or total resistance, I mean. So, since meron tayong tatlong resistors, meron tayong R1, saan lagay? Meron tayong R1, R2, then R3. Kasi tatlo yung resistors natin. Then, to get, uh, we need to get also the R total. Then, we also have the I naman. I total, then I1, I2, then I3. For every resistor, there is a value for the current and for the vol voltage. Okay. So, dito naman, then lastly, meron tayong V total, V1, V2, and V3. Yan yung kailangan natin malaman. So, ilagyan natin mga given. So, R1, meron tayong 3. 3 ohm. Okay, meron tayong 10 para sa R2. And then, yung R3 natin, meron tayong 5. Okay? Pangat na itsura. Next. So, pag meron tayong kompleto na yung R1, R2, R3 natin, makukuha natin yung R total natin. To get the R total, since ito ay series, series yan kasi yung mga resistor natin, nasa one path lang ng wire. Okay? So, hindi yan parallel. So, since series yan, kukuna, gagamitin natin yung formula dito. So, tignan nyo. Pag series, to get the R total, just have to add all the resistors or the resistance values. So, add lang natin class. Dito, meron tayong 3. So, to get the R total, meron tayong 3 plus 10 plus 5. So, that is equal to ito, 13 plus 5, that is 18. So, meron tayong 18 total resistance. 13 ohms. Okay? Next, for the current, itong current natin. So, current naman natin, uh, wala tayong binigay na given, right? Ang meron pang given ay 9 volts. So, yan ay total na. So, lagay nyo lang dito, 9 volts. So, ngayon, ano yung sunod nyo kaya makukuha kung meron kompleto na yung lahat ng resistance mo? Meron kang isang voltage, which, which is the total. So, ngayon, eto, since sa total natin, meron tayong R, R sub T, then V sub T. Ang kulang na lang yung I sub T. So, ang gagamitin yung formula, yung Ohm's Law. So, meron tayong formula for the I. So, babalikan lang natin ito. To get the I, you just have to divide. Ayun, no? sabi dito, V over R. So, I is equal to V over R. Gagamitin natin yan to get our I total. So, I is equal to V over R. So, total tayo kasi ito yung meron. Eh. Yung meron. So, R total na ay v, to, v total muna. That is 9. Divided by yung R total natin which is 18. Then, 9 over 18, if you're, if you're going to press that in your calculator, that is equal to 1 half. Okay. So, that is 1 half or 0 0.5. So, you put here 0 0.5. Okay? Ampere. So, yan yung unit natin. Ampere. So, ngayon, ang sunod yung ilalagay dito, yung current natin, lagay nyo na 
0.5. Then, pag meron ka ng 0.5 na ampere, tingnan nyo dito. Sabi dito, equal daw lahat ng current values natin. I1, I2, I3. So, since meron tayong total na 0.5, so lahat ng values ng I natin ay 0.5 na. Okay? 0.5. So, since meron tayong mga, mga current values, pwede natin makuha lahat ng values sa voltage natin. So, yung V1, meron tayong R1 at I1, right? So, makukuha nyo na yung V1. To, to get the V1, we will use the formula for V. Ito. Pag meron lang isang component na nawawala, ang gagawin nyo na lang ay gamitin yung ohms law. So, V ang kailangan, right? So, V is equal to I times R. So, dito natin lagay. I times R. So, ang V natin wala, V1. So, ang I natin ay ito, 0.5. Of course, partner niya si 3. So, multiply lang natin silang dalawa. 0. Uh, 0. 0.5 times 3. So, V is equal to, multiply lang natin, ito, times 3 lang natin ito. That is equal to 3 halves or 1.5. Okay? Okay? So, 1.5, ang ginawa lang natin, multiply, di ba? So, ganun din sa iba. Multiply lang natin to 10 times 0 0.5. So, 10 times 0 0.5. That is equal to 5. Then, ito. 5 times 0 0.5. Actually, kalahati lang naman. Pag nag-multiply kayo, kalahat ng 0 0.5 sa isang number, kalahati nyo lang number. So, that is 2.5. Okay? So, that's it. Meron na tayong uh, values ng lahat. So, tandaan nyo ang unit ng resistance ay ohms. Ito ay ampere lahat. So, yan ay ampere. Lagyan nyo lang dyan. Then, ito ay V. Volts. 5 volts, 0 0.5 volts. Okay? Now, let's have our second example. So, we have the 9 volts again for the value of our total voltage. We have two resistors, R1 and then the R2. 10 ohms and 2 ohms. Ngayon, ito, tignan natin kung yan ba ay series o parallel. Since the resistors are placed across each other, ibig sabihin yan ay parallel. Ayan no? Kapan, uh, parallel sila dun sa battery. So, this is a parallel circuit. Now, pag parallel, lagay, lagay mo natin yung, ano, yung kailangan natin mga values. Since dalawang resistors na tayo, lagay pa rin tayo ng R total, and then R1, then R2. Hanggang R2 lang, we don't have R3. Then I total, then I1, then I2. Ganun lang siya kadali. Then ito naman, V total, then V1, then V2. Then what are our given values? So dito, meron na tayong R1 and R2 which is 10. Then meron tayong 2 ohms para sa second resistance natin. Okay? Next, meron pa tayong 9 volts. So lagyan natin yan dito sa total. Okay, 9 volts. Then, to get the RT, ang kailangan nyo ay yung reciprocal. Pag parallel, ito, parallel, to get the total uh, resistance, itong gagamitin nyo, yung may 1 over uh, R sub T, then 1 over R1, then 1 over RT, R2. So, gamitin natin to to get the R total. So, 1, I'm sorry, sorry. 1 over RT pala. The reciprocal. 1 over RT. And then equals 1 over R1. Plus 1 over R2. So change the values. 1 over RT. Wala pa tayo niya. Yan yung hinahanap. Equals 1 over R1 natin ay 10. Plus 1 over 2. Then put that on your calculator. 1 over 10. Pagka wala kayong fraction, pwede nyo gamitin yung divide. Pero lagyan nyo lang parenthesis. 1 divided by 10. Parenthesis. Then plus. 1 divided by... Eh, oh, sorry. Parenthesis then 1 divided by 2. Then equal sign. That is 3 fifths. So, ang 3 fifths natin, lagyan natin dito sa solution. So, 3 over 5. Okay? Ayusin natin. 3 over 5. And then, since ito ay naka-reciprocal, i-reciprocate natin siya ulit para yung R-T ang magiging sagot natin. So, ito, 
Isiprocate natin pagbabalik rin lang natin Ito ilagay mo sa taas Then yung 1 sa baba Pag 1 yung baba Huwag nyo na isulat yung 1 sa ilalim So ito magiging 5 over 3 Then that's it Pwede mo i-convert into decimal 5 divided by 3 So 5 divided by 3 That is equal to 1.6 So this value is 1.6 Yan yung magiging R total natin 1.6 then, meron na tayong R total, V total. Ang wala na lang sa, sa total natin yung I. So, pwede na tayong gumamit ulit ng Ohm's Law. So, Ohm's Law, meron tayong I is equal to V over R. V over R, ibig sabihin, di-divide mo yung 9, tsaka yung 1.6. So, I total is equal to V total over R total equals. Okay? So, that is 9 over 1.6. 6. So, equals 9 divided by 9 divided by 1.6 is equal to 45 over 8. So, 5.6 na lang. So, 5.6 ang magiging value nandito. Lagay natin po. 5.6. Okay? So, pag may 5.6 na tayo, may 9 volts na tayo dito, tignan natin sino yung equal dito sa formula para makuha natin yung ibang values. Dito, yung I natin, parallel ang titignan nyo kasi parallel circuit tayo. Eh. So, dito, yung, ang to, yung equal daw yung mga volts, yung mga voltage. So, copy natin yung, mga, yung value ng voltage. So, ang value ng total ay 9. So, ang V1 natin ay 9 din. Then, ito, yung V2 natin 9 din. So, ang wala lang natin ay yung I naman dito. So, dito kailangan natin makuha yung value ng I. So, ang gagawin lang natin ay ganito. Gamit ang Ohm's Law, yung I natin ay V over R. Okay? V over R lang din tayo. So, lagay natin V over R. So, sa R1, partner na sa V1. So, V muna. V ay 9 over 10. Okay? So, kalgyo natin ulit. 9 over 10. 10. That is equal to 0 0.9. And then, dito, 9 over 2 naman. Okay? Yung I sub 2 naman to. V sub 2 over R sub 2. That is equal to 9 over 2. So, kalgyo natin ulit. 9 divided by 2 sorry 9 divided by 2 that is equal to 4.5 4.5 so that's it so the unit for the current is A ampere then volts naman sa voltage natin so that's how you do the Resistor in parallel and series circuit. Thank you.